So, hey, I've been thinking. Maybe you want to take this shock collar off? You know, as a sign of thanks for my hard work on Korriban. Not that I don't enjoy the perpetual fear of electrocution. You will mind your tongue, slave. Ow! Forget I said anything. Okay, hey, Sith Master person of questionable temper and such. I've been extra good with the behaving. Did you notice? So, how about taking the shock collar off me? How about some pain instead? That hurts. Do you not get that? Learn to control your inane commentary and there will be less pain. Fine. Fine. Lead on, O oh Sith of Sids. Far be it for this wretched slave to take up more of your time. Okay. I can't take this anymore. Look, I throw myself on your mercy or whatever. Please. Just please remove this collar. Let me see if I can find the right button. Real nice. Jerk. You think that's gonna break me? I'm done talking to you. Take the collar off or go away. Do you enjoy this as much as I do? Doesn't even hurt anymore. You want it to be like this? Fine. Just don't expect one word of help beyond what I have to do. I'm done talking to you. Take the collar off or go away. No need to get so worked up. What sort of game is this? You think you've broken me and now I don't need my leash? The explanation would make little sense to you. I'll never figure you out, Sith. It ever occur to you that I know where you sleep? Then you're finally learning the Sith way. Beardo Sith. Seriously. You know, I was a slave when I was a little girl. Before I got free. Sort of full circle, I guess. Many of your people are born into slavery. Is that what happened to you? Near enough. My mother and sister and I were grabbed when I was little. I don't remember much of it. We worked the mines on Ryloth. Then they separated us. I got sold to a Rodian, then a hut. Then some sort of weird three-eyed thing. All of this while you were still a child? Yeah, I was seven or eight by the time I landed with three eyes. Anyway, I guess you know you've moved around too much when a Sith ship starts to feel like home. You're here whether you like it or not. You may as well learn to like it. That's about what I figured. Have you ever heard of Noc Drayen? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. We didn't study many pirates in the Academy. He wasn't just a pirate, he was THE pirate. Galaxy's most wanted and all that. Noctrain was the most famous killer in the galaxy. 
But he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Nock. Or maybe he just had something Nock wanted. I never did ask. So at one point, you did know how to keep your mouth shut? Yeah. I was an abused, well-behaved little ball of nightmares. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves, and told them they could join up, or go their own way. To truly lead and inspire fear, people must see that you are in control. That was Nock. Cool as the belly of an ice lizard. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining had taught me to fit in tight spaces. Nock's crew showed me how to steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. Even the small action of taking gave you control of your life. That is everything. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? What does family mean to you? I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? Bloodlines are what define us. That is family. I don't know. Maybe. I suppose my mother and sister will always be the most important. When I was working for Noctrayan, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age. Risha. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But... He'd call her princess, and... I wished I was her. If you had killed her without her father knowing, he might have turned his affection to you instead. You are sort of insane. You know that, don't you? Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister again. For years it was Risha and me against the galaxy and anyone who gave us grief. Did you drift apart? Start to fight? Nothing like that. Eventually, Nock hatched some secret plan that I couldn't be a part of. One that apparently got them both killed. But for a while there... I really was happy. <sighs> Enough of that. You know, I never thought much about being a Twi'lek when I was younger. Even on Ryloth, there were lots of other types of people. As far as I could tell, people like me were just the ones who made the best slaves. Wasn't much to be proud of, you know? Every species has a place in the Empire. Twi'lek exists to be in service to their superiors. Every time I think there's a person under all that Sith, I get a nice sharp reminder. Sheesh. I have never tried to hide what I am, Vet. Yeah, I guess I just forget sometimes. Think I'm back with my own people. When I left Noctrayan's gang, I joined up with a group of Twi'lek artifact hunters. They were all young too. Full of fire and Twi'lek pride. Out trying to recover our heritage. So it wasn't just about stealing anything they could get their hands on. They wanted Twi'lek historical pieces. Well, sometimes they took other jobs to pay the bills. But it really was about returning Twi'lek artifacts to Twi'lek owners. I made friends in the new gang. But it wasn't until we did our first job together that we were family. There was this rich Dura scumball, Kata Bliss. Obsessed with Twi'lek women, artifacts, clothes, anything. We took him for everything he was worth. You said he was obsessed with Twi'lek women. Did you have to rescue people along with the loot? Yeah, and some of them weren't exactly in great shape. Wasn't much better than Korriban, and they'd been there a while. Anyway, we were flying high. Did a couple more jobs together. Then came Korriban. And I guess you know how that ended up. 